Hi everyone. Here we have a challenge on the board. It's a system of simultaneous equations. And uh, we want to end this year 2023 with this equation. Now, if you look at this simultaneous equation, uh, it has six roots. And here we're going to solve for all the six roots. Okay. I've solved it and I discovered that this challenge here has four re roots and two imaginary roots. In this video, we're going to solve for all the six roots. Okay, so it might take us some time, but I'm going to show you step by step on how to solve for all six roots. You must have seen this question in some channel, and they solve for only two roots to uh, this challenge. Okay, two or one, some of them. Okay, is it that they don't um, I know the how to the other four roots? Yeah, they might know the how to, but maybe the time it will consume them to solve for all six roots. That's why most of the um, tutor actually dodged the other four. Okay, but here I'm going to touch all the six roots. Okay, without leaving anyone behind, and so it's a switch journey. So if you're new here, Dix is all I must TV. And as the year is trying to roll by, do not forget to subscribe. Because in 2024, we have better packages for you as far as mathematics is consigned. Okay? So do well to subscribe to this channel. And when you subscribe, turn on the bell notification button. What that does is that it allows the YouTube algorithm to notify you whenever we drop a wonderful video, an amazing video, like the one we're about to go into right now. Will not be said, sit back, relax. Okay, so let's go into today's challenge. So the question is x to the power of 2 plus y to the power of 2 equal to 3. That is equation 1. And x to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 3 equal to 5. Equation 2. What there will be the value for your x and y? So the first thing we do here is to take our solution to this challenge. So solution. The question, again, x to the power of 2 plus y to the power of 2 equal to 3. And your x to the power of 3 plus your y to the power of 3 equal to 5. Now, the number one thing we're going to do here is to bring out um, some algebraic identity. And so, if you recall from your Pascal triangle, we have 1 for the power of 0, then 1, 1. For the power of 1, then um, we have 1, 2, 1. For the power of 2, then we have 1, 3, 3, and 1 for the power of 3. So we're going to make use of this and this. If we have your x plus y r to the power of 2, this is equal to, using this power, this will give us x squared plus 2xy plus y or squared so if i bring this y squared and this x squared together we're going to have here your x squared plus y or squared then plus your 2xy now here we have our x blocks y squared yeah if i decide to move 2xy to the left hand side we're going to have this to be your x plus y r squared okay then minus your 2 x y equal to your x squared plus y squared look at what we have here now this x squared plus y squared is already here and it's equal to 3 so we can replace the whole of this place with 3 so if we substitute that then we're going to have here your x plus y r squared minus 2xy equal to your 3. It has not changed anything. Okay, so we just did a simple manipulation. So we now establish a fat here now. Okay, so let's give this equation, um, let's give this equation 1. Okay, let's take this equation 1. Then we now look at the second equation here now. From your binomial expansion or from your algebraic identity, we can rewrite this equation again using this format. Okay, so from here, if we have x plus 
is a plus y r to the power of 3. This is equal to using Dick's um, coefficient, we're going to have this to be your x to the power of 3 plus your 3x squared y plus 3xy squared plus your y to the power of 3. See this? Now here we are having 3xy comma 3xy. So I can bring this and this together. So from here, let's continue from here. So we have this. Let's erase this. All right. So from here, we're going to have this to be your x to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 3. We're working on this side now. Okay. Then this is blocks. We are simplifying 3xy here. So we have here factor out 3xy out. We are now left with x plus y bracket x. Okay. Now the left hand side is still intact here. Okay. We have our left hand side down to this side. So with this, we cannot bring that down our left hand side, which is your x there plus this blocks piece. This is plux piece. This is plux, please. The close bracket to the power of 3. Move the whole of this to this side of the equation. So we have here minus the 3xy bracket x plux y close bracket equal to. We are left with this on this side, which is x to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 3. Easy. All right. Now, again, look at our expression here, the original expression, which is x to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 3 is equal to 5. So we can put in 5 here. So this will now give us here your x plus y r to the power of 3 minus 3xy into your x plus y close bracket equal to 5. So let's give this equation 2. Equation 2. Now if you look at equation 1 and equation 2, there are some similarity there. So what are the similarities? Here we're having x plus y, x plus y, x, y. There in equation 2, we're having x plus y, x, y. So let's do a nice substitution here. Okay? So we cannot say let Let's use m. Let m be equal to your x plus y and let n be equal to x, y. So we can now rewrite equation 1 and equation 2. So our equation 1, we now give us here, uh, here we have your m, let's say this implies your m squared, okay, then minus 2 n, all right, equal to 3. Get that. So let's give this equation 3. And our equation 2 will automatically become m to the power of 3, then minus 3n bracket m, okay, equal to 5. We can give this equation 4. What do we do here? Let's make n the subject of the formula in equation 3. So from equation 3, we now have this. Okay, let's say from equation 3 okay so from equation 3 we're going to have this to be your m to the power of 2 okay m to the power of 2 minus 3 is equal to 2n divided by 2 divided by 2 so cancel cancel so when i have n is equal to m to the power of 2 m to the power of 2 minus 3 all over 2 easy so let's give this equation five okay we have series of equations here okay so let's give this equation five what we do here is to put equation five into equation four okay so put equation five into equation four so let's put it here put equation five into equation four so equation four so if we substitute that, we're going to have our equation 
4 will now become your m to the power of 3, then minus 3, look at our n here, bracket, your m to the power of 2, minus 3, all over your 2, all over your 2, which is this close bracket, into m, this is equal to, yeah, this equal to what? 5. So let's continue on this side of the board. So what we do next here, we want to open up this bracket using this 3 to open up and also eliminate this 2. Okay, so if we do that, this will now give us 2m to the power of 3. Okay, then minus 3m to the power of 3. Then minus times minus will give us plus. And so this will give us plus uh, 9m equal to 2 times 5 will give us uh, 10. Okay, so this minus this will give us minus m to the power of 3. The plus 9m equal to 10. We can rearrange this equation and also eliminate this minus sign. So we multiply through by minus 1. And so we're going to have this to be positive m to the power of 3. Then minus 9m. If we move this to this other side with the negative sign from the multiplication, that will give us plus 10. This is equal to 0. Now this is a polynomial equation of third degree. So here we're going to use the uh, trial by error method to get the 3 root to m. Now, if you put in negative 1, it will not give us the zeros. If we put in positive 1, it will not. But if we put in positive 2, it will give us the 0 to uh, this expression here. And so m is equal to 2 is one of the roots. So if m equal to 2 is one of the roots, using the trial by error method, therefore it also implies that your m minus 2 is equal to zero is one of the factors of this expression. So we're going to use the long division method to get the other two roots, okay, or the other two factors. So let's take our long division method. Very easy. So here we have your m minus two. We put in our dividend, which is your m to the power of three, then minus nine m plus ten here. We use this to divide m to the power of 3, and if we do that, that will give us m to the power of 2. So we have m to the power of 2. Use this to multiply the divisor, which is going to give us your m to the power of 3. m squared times minus 2 will give us minus, this is minus, please, okay, minus your 2m to the power of 3. Okay, we rule off. And subtract. So this, this will go to give us zero. So minus times minus will give us plus. So your plus, oh sorry, yeah, it's square, please. Sorry, yeah, it's square. So square, yeah. Okay, so minus times minus gives us plus. Then we don't have m to the power of two. So we're going to have zero plus two m. So we are left with two m to the power of two. Bring down the second term here, which is minus 9m. Again, we go on with the division m into 2m squared. We give us here plus your 2m. The 2m multiply m, we give us 2m squared. Then 2m times minus 2, we give us minus 4m. We carry out another subtraction again. Okay, then... This, this will leave. Here we give us plus 4. So minus 9m plus 4, we give us minus 5m. Bring down the last term, which is plus 10. Again, we use m to divide minus 5m. So this will give us minus 5. 5 times m will give us your minus 5 m then minus 5 times minus 2 will give us plus 10. Again, we carry out our subtraction. Here we have minus times minus, which is plus. So minus 5 plus 5 will leave the system. Minus times plus will give us minus. So this, this will also leave. So we have here 
0, 0. So at this point, we now have this quadratic equation here. Okay, so let's bring out the, the first one we have here, m minus 2. Then the other one we have m squared plus 2m, okay, minus 5 equal to 0. So if we succumb to the zero product rule, we equate this to zero, equate this to zero. So we now have a quadratic equation here. So let's go ahead and solve this quadratic equation. Okay? Because we said in this question, in this challenge, we want to solve for all the six roots. Okay? Including the imaginary roots. Yeah. So let's go ahead and solve for the other two roots of M. Let's erase this. All right, so here's our quadratic equation. Let's solve this using the formula method. We know our formula is m is equals to your minus b plus minus the square root of your b squared minus 4ac all over your 2a, right? So what is our a? The coefficient of m squared. So we have a is equals to positive where? And the coefficient of m is our b. So b is equals to positive 2. And the constant term, which is C, is equals to minus 5. Okay. So from here, let's go ahead and put this into this equation. So we're going to have M is equal to B minus 2 plus minus the square root of 2 squared minus 4 dot 1. Dot here means times place. Okay. The dot minus Five all over two dot one. So this we now give us here minus two plus minus the square root of here we have four. The minus times minus we give us plus. So we have plus four times one times five we give us twenty. So we have twenty all over your two. Yeah. Again, let's continue on this side. Of the bird. Okay, so what do we do? Let's add this and this together. If we add up, so this we now give us here minus two plus minus the square root of twenty-four. Okay, twenty-four all over two, all over two. What do we do? Twenty-four can be split into six times four, and four is a perfect square. So the square root of 4 will give us 2. So we can rewrite this as minus 2 plus minus 2 into the square root of 6 all over your 2. Okay, here we are having 2. So if we factor out 2, you discover that these two will cancel out this cancel out this. So we are now left with minus 1 plus minus the square root of 6. Okay? Now, we can split our M1 and M2, sorry, M2 and M3 from here. So this now implies that our M2 is equal to, um, first of all, let's start with M1. So if we split this, we're going to have this to be equal to minus 1 plus the square root of 6. And then, or your minus 1 minus the square root of 6. Easy. So we cannot come up with our three roots here now. So we now have, therefore, your M1 is equal to 2. M2 is equal to... Now, we can rewrite this expression here. Okay? So this is the same thing as root 6 minus your 1. Okay? And your M3 is M plus. Our M3 is equal to... Um, let's leave it like this. Okay, 1 minus root 6. All right, so with this, we've gotten the values for our m already. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve for the value of n. Okay, remember our n. There's a place where we make n the subject of the formula, which is m to the power of 2 minus 3 all over 2. So here we now say recall. Recall that your n is equal to m to the power of 2 minus 3 all over your 2. Okay. So, we want to substitute all these ones into this formula now. So, let's look for n1 
is equals to what is our m1 is 2 so we're going to have here 2 to the power of 2 minus 3 all over 2 which is equal to your 4 minus 3 all over 2 which is equals to 1 all over 2 so we've gotten the first value for our n this is our n 1 so we look for our n2 so n2 is equal to where is our n2 look at our n2 here so we're going to have this to be your m square which is bracket the square root of 6 minus 1 or squared okay then minus 3 all over all over what 2 if you simplify this here now i've done that already this will give you your 7 minus 2 root 6 so this is equal to 7 minus 2 root 6 then minus our 3 okay all over our 2. now we have 3 from 7 will give us 4 so let's continue on this side this will now give us here your 4 okay minus your 2 root 6 all over 2. if we factor out 2 here we're going to be left with 2 minus root 6. so this will now give us here your 2 uh, minus root 6. so this is the value for our n2. all right so we calculated for our n1 we saw for our n1 already where's our n1 um this is our n1 and this is our n2 okay so let's go ahead and solve for our n3 our n3 with this so our n3 is equals to m to the power of 3 minus 3 all over 2 this is the formula we are using staying fresh in our hair right so our m here is equals to minus 1 minus root 6 so we we'll go ahead to substitute this will now give us here bracket minus 1 minus root 6 all squared minus 3 everything all over 2. now if you go ahead to simplify this i've done that already this will give us here your um 7 plus 2 root 6. okay then minus your 3 all over 2. again this from this will give us 4 so we have 4 plus 2 root 6 all over 2. factor out 2 again from here 2 we divide this to give us 2 divide this will give us 1 so we're going to have this to be your 2 plus your root 6. now this is our n3 this is the value of our n3 okay now let's look at this now we now have our m1 to be 2, m2 to be this, and m3 to be this. So we have our n1 to be 1 all over 2, then n2 to be this, and n3 um, to be this. So we want to get the actual value for our x and y now from these values we have here now. Okay, so let me go ahead and write these values of n1, n2, n3, and m1, m2, and n3 at the corner before we erase everything here. So we're going to take case one. Remember our substitution, the first substitution we made, where we said let x plus y be equal to m. So m here now is going to be our m1, then x, y, we said it should be n. So this is going to be n1. So what is our m1 and n1? We come to our table here. m1 is equal to 2 and n1 is equal to 1 all over 2. So from here, this is same thing as um, your 2 and here equal to 1 all over 2. Easy. So if it is true, then we can make y the subject of the formula here. Though let's give this equation star. And let's give this equation star star so from equation star star let's make y the subject of the formula we're going to have uh, our y is equal to your one all over because here we're going to divide by x so 2x 
So let's give this equation star, star, star. Okay? Now, put equation star, star, star into equation star. So if we do that, we're going to put everything we have here into this. So this now implies that our x flux, your 1 all over 2x equal to 2. Easy. Eliminate this 2x. So we're going to multiply true by 2x. And this will give us here 2 x squared then plus one equal to your four x collecting light terms we have two x squared then minus four x plus one equal to zero again this is a quadratic equation so we're going to solve two values of x from here using the formula method okay so using the formula method here we're going to have our a is equal to uh, 2 then b is equal to minus 4 and c is equal to 1 so let's go and write out our quadratic formula and substitute straightforward our formula says that x is equal to minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4 ac this is a very common formula. So this is all about 2a. Oh, sorry, let me write the b out well. Okay, so substituting, this will give us minus, what is our b? Minus 4, so bracket minus 4, close bracket plus, I know the square root of minus 4 r squared minus your 4 dot a is what? 2 dot 2 dot our c is 1 dot 1 okay all over 2 dot 1 sorry dot 2 sorry a is a is 2 okay so from here we're going to have here to be 4 blocks minus the square root of yes 16 minus 8 everything all over your 4 let me put the equality sign well okay so if we subtract this this will give us eight so this will now give us here four plus minus the square root of eight all over your four eight can be expressed as four times two and four is a perfect square which is two okay so this will now become four plus minus two into the square root of two everything all over four we can factor out 2 from here. So if we factor out 2 from here, this will now become what? 2 plus minus your 1 all over 2. Right? So this will now give us here your 2 plus minus your square root of 2 all over 2. Again, we can still bring out 2 from here. So if we bring out 2, this will now give us here your 1 plus minus your root 2 all over 2. Easy. So what are the values for our x1 and x2 now? So let's continue with this. So this now shows that our x1 is equal to, we're going to split this now. So we have 1 plus the square root of 2 all over 2 and x2 is equal to 1 minus the square root of 2 all over 2. God. So we succeeded in solving for our x1, x2. Then let's go ahead and solve for our y1 from equation star, star, star. Because we made y the subject of the formula already. So we just put in the value. So we have here our y1 is equal to 1 all over your 2 into the first one is what? 1 plus the square root of 2 all over 2. Close bracket. So if we use 2 to multiply through, we're going to come up with your 1 all over your 2 plus your root 2. Easy. Now, we want to express this in a simpler form. So we want to rationalize the denominator. I know what to do when we want to rationalize. So this is your 1 into your 
2 minus root 2 all over your 2 plus root 2 then bracket bracket 2 minus root 2 true so if we simplify further we're going to have here 2 minus root 2 all over this is going to give us 4 if you multiply everything out here for minus 2 okay so this is equals to 2 minus root 2 this all over 2 so if we simplify this we're going to have this to be our uh, this equal to 1 then minus root 2 all over 2 so this is our y1 we've gotten our y1 to be this now automatically if we solve for y2 it's going to give us 1 plus the square root of 2 all over 2 but if you're doubting it then let's take our y2 from x uh, 2 we have y2 is equal to 1 all over your 1 minus root 2 all over okay this all over 2 yeah okay so with this again we can do some work out here okay yeah multiply by 2 yeah we have 2 here sorry so this yeah every t here all into 2 so if we multiply out this will give us 1 all over your 2 minus root 2 good so again we want to rationalize this if we rationalize this and simplify down like what we did here now we go to come up here our y2 we give us um 1 plus root 2 all over 2 this is the value for our y2 if we follow this same step down we're going to have our y2 to be this okay so this is the value for our y r2 so we'll solve for the first two roots here now x1 x2 y2 y uh, sorry y1 y2 so let's go to x3 x4 and y3 y4 again let's erase this so we have your case two from our expression again x plus y is equals to m2 and what is our m2 we we'll solve our m2 to be root 6 minus 1 so we have here root 6 minus 1 then our x y sorry x y this is equal to your n2 and what is our n2 our n2 is 2 minus root 6 so we have here 2 minus root 6 okay again from here let's make y the subject of the formula so making y the subject of the formula will give us here y equal to your 2 minus root 6 all over your x all right so what we do here now is to substitute this expression here into this first equation so doing that we give us here your x plus here we have 2 minus root 6 all over what your x okay let's put this in bracket this is equal to your root 6 minus 1. so what we do here we open up this bracket and eliminate this x so if we do that we're going to have this to be x squared plus your 2 minus root 6 equal to your root 6 minus 1 or into x collecting our light terms then we now have this okay if we send this to this side of the equation so we're going to have this to be your x squared okay minus bracket the square root of 6 minus 1 will bracket into your x okay then plus your 2 then minus root 6 this is, is equal to 0 so this is where the challenge get interesting now this is a quadratic equation so how do we solve this quadratically don't be scared we'll get to the root of this here we have our a this is our a1 and our b is this and this is our c so we can substitute that into the quadratic formula minus b 
plus minus the square root of your b squared minus 4 ac all over 2a. Okay, so from here, let's quickly substitute. We have to be careful substituting this. So we have here minus, we're going to take a square bracket here, minus bracket, because this is having a minus sign. So square root of 6, then minus 1, close bracket, into our square bracket. Okay, so from here, plus minus the square root. Again, let's say close this in a square bracket, minus bracket the square root of 6 minus 1, close bracket into our square bracket. Okay, minus, here we have 4, into our A is what? 1, into our C is what? Next. So let's put this in bracket, 2 minus root 6, close bracket. All right, all over our 2 into A is 1. Confused? No. Now let's go on. If we use this minus to open our bigs, then we're going to come up with our square root of 6 minus 1. Okay, then plus minus the square root of. So if we simplify this now, this minus side we leave the system and we use this to times this, so it's going to give us 7 minus 2 root 6. Okay, so this will give us 7 minus 2 root 6. I could as well do that, opening up all the brackets. Okay, but you can work on that. You see that we give you this. Then minus this times this will give us 8. Okay, then this times this will give us plus 4 root 6. Close bracket, everything all over 2. I told you we're going to get all the 6 roots here. So we are going to have this to be root 6 minus 1 plus minus the square root of if you subtract this from this we're going to have minus 1 so we have minus 1 then this from this will give us positive 2 root 6 all over 2 what do we do at this point it is easy all we need to do is to use our calculator to find the square root of 6. And if the square root of 6 will give you 2.4494, right? Okay, so if we go by that, we're going to have this to be, at the same time, let's find the square root of this. So we have 2.449, all right, minus 1 plus minus the square root of Okay, of your minus one is minus one, the plus. Now, we want to go straight here now. We know that the square root of six is this. So let's multiply through by two. So two times this will give us here uh, 18 carry one. Here we have eight. So plus the one you carry, nine. Dix will give us eight. The our dot, the two times um, um, two will give us four. Easy. <laughs> all right, so we rule off these all over two. So we cannot subtract this from this, subtract this from this. Then we are almost there. Okay? We are almost there. We are almost there. We are almost there. Okay, so one from this we give us here. This is equal to one point. Your four, four, nine, lux, minus. Then if we subtract 1 from this, this will give us the square root of your 3.898. Okay, all over 2. This is equal to 1.449, the plus minus. What is the square root of 3.898? I've used calculator to do that, and that gives me 1.4. 974 all over 2
Oh, so we cannot split this now because we have two terms here. Now we can do the plug sign and the subtraction sign. So we have 1.449 uh, four, four, plus 1.974. Uh, <laughs> the mass is a bit crazy. All of our two, or we have our 1.449 one minus 1.974 all over 2. So if we carry out this, what would this give us? This will give us uh, the first one. It give us uh, 3. Then 7 plus 4 will give us uh, 11 plus 2, 12. Then 9 plus 4, 13, 14. The dot, the 2. So here we have 2, 2, this dot please, 2 point x all over 2. Or let's carry out our subtraction on this other side. We have 5. So if we subtract, so the other will give us uh, 2. And uh, this, this will give us um, uh, 5. All right. Point your minus 0. Okay. This all over uh, 2. All right. So if we divide this and we divide this, the first one is going to give us, um, so here we're going to have, what are we looking for? We're looking for x. So we have x3, we automatically give us, this, this, we give us a 1.7, um, then a 1, all right? Then a 1, a 5, da, da, da. So let's leave it at this, 1.711. And our x4, this we give us um this this we give us minus your uh, zero point okay this will give us uh two six uh two five all right okay so this is our x three and x four so let's go down and write this here now. So we have our x4, sorry, our x3 is equal to your 1.711 uh, and our x4 is equal to your x, uh, sorry, minus 0 0.2625. Uh, ah, this is tough, but we'll get all the six roots. So let's go ahead and solve for our y3 and y4 again from here. So let's raise this again. All right, so let's get our x, sorry, our y3, right? So our y3, okay, because we've gotten our x3 here already, x3 and x4. So our y3 is just a matter of substituting. So we have 2 minus the square root of 6 all over uh, what is our x3? Three is one point and seven one one. Okay, yeah. Let's use the calculator. Square root of six. We give us here your two uh, two minus your um, two point four four nine all over one point seven one one, which is equal to if we subtract this, we give us minus your zero point four four nine all over one point seven one one okay so if we use this to divide this using our calculator this will give us our y3 is equal to um minus uh, zero point uh two six two five so this is our y3 Okay, so let's quickly look for our y4 from here. Now, so our y4 will give us what? So we have y4 is equal to, again, 2 into root 6. We are substituting into this all of our, what is our x? Our x4 is minus 0 0.2625. So we have minus 0 0.2625, right? So this is equal to 2 minus the square root of um, 6 is uh, 2.449 
all over your minus 0 0.2625. So this will automatically give us, you subtract this minus 0 0.449 all over your minus 0 0.2625. All right, so minus, we take care of minus. So we have our y for, if you use your calculator to divide this, we give you a positive 1.7105, which is approximately 1, 1. Okay, so this is our y4 and our y3. So again, let's put the value here. Let's write it down here. So have y4, sorry, y3 is equal to, our y3 is minus 0 0.2625 and y4 is equal to your positive 1.711. 1, 1. Okay. Are you still seeing that? All right, so we have to put that down because at the end of the day, we are going to bring all of the out. Okay, so we cannot go ahead to uh, solve for case three, where we have our x4, sorry, x5 and x6, y5 and y6. So let's erase this. So we want to take our case three, which is the last lap. And in this case, we're going to have imaginary roots from here. So x5 and x6, we give us imaginary roots. Same thing, your y, Five and y six. So, what is our m three and n three? Let's look at it here. So, our m three, if you remember, that's why I have to put this here now. So, we have this is equal to your minus one minus square root of six, and your n three is what your positive two uh, plus. Uh, sorry, is it plus? Yes, plus root six. Okay, so let's go ahead and make again y the subject of the formula from this second equation. Like the other time, we gave this equation star and this one equation star star. Okay, so if we make y the subject of the formula from equation star star, we're going to have this to be 2 plus the square root of 6 all over your x. And we gave this equation star star star. Okay, now let's put equation star 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 into equation star. So wherever we see y, let's put that there. So we have your x plus your bracket 2 plus root 6. That is 6, please. All right. Okay. Into uh, all of our, um, sorry, all of our x. This is equal to what? Minus 1 minus root 6. I know your mind is telling you how we're going to solve this. It is easy. Again, eliminate x. So this will now give us x squared, the plus your 2 plus root 6. This is equal to, now we can decide to bring out the minus sign here. So if we do that, we're going to have this to be your minus 1. Okay, let's put minus 1 into 1 plus your root 6 or into your x. Easy. Still the same thing. So if we rearrange our equation, then this is going to give us here your x squared, okay, plus, if this one crosses to this other side, plus bracket your x plus root 6, close bracket, into your x, the plus 2 plus the square root of 6. This is equal to 0. Again, this is a quadratic equation where we have our a to be this, our uh, b to be this, and this is our c. So let's go ahead and substitute this into our quadratic formula and solve. Okay? So, yeah, we have here yeah, that. Damn. Our a is equal to 1, b is equal to, because we have to be careful in bringing out our a hole. Where did I see x here? Oh, sorry, I made some mistake here. Yes, yeah, supposed to be um 1. Yeah, please, sorry. This place is one. This is one. Okay. We move this to this. This is one. Pardon? So our B is what? One plus the square root of six. And our C, C is equal to our constant term, two plus the square root of six. 
So substituting this will give us our x is equal to b we have minus bracket 1 plus the square root of 6 plus bracket plus minus the square root of then let's put this 1 plus the square root of 6 close bracket or square minus 4 dot okay dot um, 1 which is our a dot what is our c is a 2 plus the square root of 6 okay Oliver your 2 dot 1 easy so from here we can go ahead to open up this sign here so have your 1 minus the square root of 6 plus minus the square root of again if we factorize this if we use this to multiply itself this is going to give us 7 plus 2 root 6 okay so we have here 7 plus 2 root 6 minus this time this will give us here 8 and this time this will give us minus 4 root 6 everything all over 2 so this this is equal to now we said the square root of this is um uh 2.449 right the minus 1 minus 2.449 will give us minus at uh, 3.449 plus here yeah. okay the square root of this this will give us minus one then this this will give us minus two root six right all over two so we now have this to be minus three point four four nine plus square root of yeah i can decide to bring out minus one here to give me a minus one into one plus two root six okay all over two we know the square root of minus one is iota and so we can rewrite this and at the same time let us go ahead and simplify it the square root of um six is 2.449 times two will give us 4.899 um, okay plus one will give us 5.899 okay so let's just go ahead and simplify this so this will now give us here minus 3.4 four nine plus minus your iota into um your five okay point your eight nine nine okay all right so if i let me put this in brackets so that you don't get confused this is all over your two easy so if we are to rewrite this expression we have here now we have two expressions here now. So we're now going to have our x. Um, we are looking for our x, right? So our x5 is equal to your minus your 3.449 plus your 5.899 iota. This iota, please. Okay, which is your i iota all over your two easy i could as well write this let's shift this inside all right so let's erase this and rewrite this expression very well or let's use here let's use here so our x6 we have our x6 will now be equal to your minus your 3.449 minus 5.899 iota uh, sorry i'm trying to conserve this iota all over two so this is our x5 this is our x6 we can go ahead to get our y five and y six from here so our y five our y five is equal to we have here two plus root six all over what is our x five base which is minus your three point four four nine 
the blocks five point uh, eight nine nine iota all over two. So we're writing this. We have our y five is equal to your this will come up. So this will end up giving us four plus two root six all over our minus three dot four four nine plus your five point eight nine nine iota so this is our y5 so let's get the final one which is our y6 but wow, this mass is crazy so here we have our y6 from here we have two plus root six all over our x6 x your minus 3.449 the minus 5.899 iota all over our two so therefore y6 is equal to again let's flip this over to give us here for the plus two root six all over minus three dot four four nine the minus five point eight nine nine iota so this is our y6 all right in all let's put down the six root to our equation here so we have here x1 is equal to what is our x1 one plus the square root of two all over two x2 is equal to one um no, minus root two all over two x3 is equal to where's our x3 one point seven one one x4 is equal to uh, minus zero point uh, two six uh, two five and x five is equal to where's our x five minus three point four four nine plus five point eight nine nine iota all over your two okay then our x6 is equal to where's our x6 our x6 is minus 3.449 plus 5 sorry minus here yeah, please okay so minus 5.899 iota all over our two y1 is equals to what is our y1 we have one minus um the square root of two all over two the y2 is equal to one plus the square root of two all over two y3 is equal to your minus zero point um two six two five then y4 okay y4 is equal to your positive one point seven one one y5 is equal to let me erase this so our y5 we have your four the plus two root uh six this is six weeks all over your minus three point four four nine plus your five dot your eight nine nine iota and finally y axis is equal to look at our y axis four plus two into root six all over minus your three point four four nine okay minus five point eight this point eight nine nine iota 
Okay, so these are the six routes to these equations. So like I said earlier on, I said this will take some time, but we'll get all the six routes. So these are the six routes to uh, this simultaneous equation. And I've gone ahead to substitute all these routes into these equations and they all, all satisfy this expression we have then. So I said, let's end the year with this tough and lengthy um simultaneous equation okay just to end the 2023 we're going to start our 2024 in few hours from now okay i'm going to come up with more fine more nice challenges okay that we really 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 keep you abreast of what is happening in the world of mathematics now to mark the end of the 2023 era here i want to say a very big thank you a very big thank you to all my subscribers on all and um, our viewers all over the world those that have contributed those that have submitted one question or the other uh those that have not been touched we're going to touch them but i believe i've touched so many of them my viewers my subscribers you are amazing you are the best you are the reason for the existence of this channel and we all at online mass tv want to tell you that we love you so so much we love you more than you think we love you we love you like i said earlier on that if it were possible for us to have a one-on-one -on -one encounter with you the expression would have been far far better than this but we cannot do that okay so i want to use this media to say a very big thank you to you you made 2023 an amazing year for every one of us at online mass tv and that will not take for granted that we appreciate so much thanks once again you the best see you in 2024 do well to have a blissful watch night and a blissful 2020 for beginning thanks once again jakes loves you and everyone at online mass tv loves you bye for now